uh, take the valve covers off. I'll get one of the cylinders on this side at top dead center with uh, both the valves up. Basically, I do that by just bumping the motor over and watching the uh, rocker arms move. The other thing I do is when I take off the rocker arm, I count the number of turns. Yesterday they were coming out at about 14 turns. So I take them off. When I put them back on, I make the same number of turns when I put them back on. That should give me a pretty good close proximity to you know, where, how, where the valve adjustment would be on a Chevy with the hydraulic valves. They're pretty forgiving when it comes to valve adjustment. Um, well, it's kind of a lot you can get away with. Now these back two are loose. So that's a good place to start. And I've already done this one. So now I'll do that one. The first thing I'm gonna do is just take out the spark plug. That looks pretty good, that plug does. Now I'll put in the air chuck that I made to go in the cylinder so that I can put air in there and the air should hold the valves closed. I know what I wanted to do before I do that and I will just want to make sure that this piston is all the way up. It should be, if both of these are loose, that piston should be all the way up. But, let's just make sure. Um, and I usually just do that by putting a screwdriver in there. I can feel where the uh, piston is. Yeah, there's the piston right there. So, uh, next thing I'm going to do is give me a 5 8 socket and pull. Well, I'll put this back in, this plug thing, back in. I'll get a 5 8 socket and I'll loosen the nuts and take off the uh, rockers, rocker arms. And what I'm going to do on these is count the number of turns like I was talking about before. I'll start with the wrench toward me and I'll just go around and every time I go around I'll count it. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now, usually at fourteen, well, it's just about ready to come off. We'll go one more, we'll make it fifteen here, and it is all the way off. So, fourteen to fifteen, right in there. Gets that one off. Set it there, and we're only going to do one side at a time, so uh, I can go ahead and charge this and do one, and then take the other one off and do the other. So I want to get everything I need together that I'm going to need to do that with. So I went ahead and grabbed me an umbrella seal and a ring seal, rubber seal, to go on the uh, shaft, and. I'm going to set them right up on top of the air cleaner. Once I start this air compressor, it's going to make a lot of noise. So I probably won't talk anymore until I finish that. Uh, it tends to run almost all the time while that's connected. Because it'll lose a little air while it's in there. There we go. <clears throat>
I think what I'm do next time is uh, take both rockers off and do both of them and then put both rockers back on because when I put this one back on it opened the valve a little and that little bit was enough to keep the compressor going all the time whereas before I kept const more constant pressure with both of them with just with both of them close it makes sense to me if I took off the two rockers with the air pressure on and then did all my changing and then took the air pressure off after I got the spring uh, pins clips back in and then I could do the rocker arms and the air compressor off that makes, makes sense to me I don't know if it does to y'all or not and I'm going to turn this one again like I said earlier 14 turns from a specific point one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and I suppose I wouldn't have to I did 15 didn't I? I said 14 I think I did 15 let's go back one at least part of one there you go uh, I suppose I wouldn't have to roll this over but I do like the idea of getting the piston as close to chop dead center as I can but my hope is that if a valve did fall down in there I'd be able to catch it without it having it going way down the bottom I'll take this air chuck off put the spark plug back in 